Okay, Ryan Adams, two. Should be it takes two, but it's just two. Before I start this, though, a few comments. I'm getting some occasional comments that seem to, well, disagree with my philosophy of teaching. So just a few comments about this. Um, I am not doing Ryan Adams two. I am doing my version of Ryan Adams two. It's not perfect. Uh, the rhythm's different. The chords may not capture everything. It's my version. He has a whole band behind him, but even if he doesn't, like when John Lennon does his own, it's still not perfect. I'm not shooting for perfect. If you think that it should be perfect, then you want to do someone else's lesson. Marcos Farhat, you know, that guy, he does perfect uh, because he plays along with the album and note for note everything. He only teaches you the guitar, but anyway, I'm not shooting for that. <clears throat> I'm just shooting to teach people who don't know how to play uh, how to play a few songs. So, don't watch anymore if you're looking for no errors and perfection, because this is not uh, Brian Adams. It's just a feeble attempt. So, um, if you're okay with that, this song, too, doesn't have a lot of chords. The only thing that makes it tricky is the rhythm playing. So the chords are, uh, I'm on capo on the two. Um, I think that's where he does it. There are a couple. There are a lot of cover versions on YouTube, and one person had the uh, capo on, and I really liked it better that way. Does Ryan Adams do it that way? I don't know. Uh, I couldn't see on the David Letterman show what he was doing. So what we've got is a G chord and a C chord, and you just learned the uh, verses and much of the song. Here's the G and the C, and then the chorus is going to introduce the good old E minor. Of course, this is really F sharp minor capoed off, but the E minor shape. And then he's going to do the C and the G and the D. So we got the G and the C, and now we've added the E and the D, E minor and the D. And then in the it takes two, it's just the E minor, C, G. That's all there is to the chords, nothing to the chords. It's the rhythm that's interesting. The rhythm makes this song, besides, of course, the words are the same, and all, everything else. Uh, steel guitar uh, that make this great song so uh, let's talk about the rhythm usually when we do these songs you know you've got to count this is in four so it's one two three four one two three four except it's not like that it's tricky um, so also sometimes you do one and two and three and four and you're gonna have to in this song. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. You have to do the ants because he's going to the C in a strange place. Usually somebody would go to the C after four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Or they might go on the three. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and four. But he's not, not in the verses, and probably not in the It Takes Two part. And he's going on the and, so it would be one, and two, So that's the first thing you got to get down to play this song is making that change to the C early. It's always the C. It's always the G of the C that comes early like that. Uh, and then there's a next level of difficulty because you really should, if you want to do this with counting, which I have to say I'm not sure I'm all that for because this is so quick. Counting it, it's just so fast. I, I never can learn it this way. So there's a lot of music out there and they try to show you this kind of detail in the guitar strum, but I can't play it except listening to it. Um, so I would try listening to it, but I have thought about it hard and tried to figure it out for you all what it is I'm doing. Um, so the beginning part goes G and that's C, the C coming early, like that. The thing is, 
you really got to count one E and a if you want to do all of that rhythmic stuff. And again, this isn't what Ryan Adams does. Ryan Adams has a guitar player and a drummer and all sorts of other people playing. This is just my version. Don't do it that way. Just do the one and two and three and four and then you'll be capturing it. But this is what I do, so I should probably show it. I think what I'm doing is strumming the G on the one and then my hand is missing on the E, so it's one E and a. Uh. That's how you do the four, you break it up. So one and two and three and four, and if you're gonna break it up even further, if you're gonna move your hand even faster, you need more syllables. So the way you do that is one E and a, uh, two E and a, uh, three E and a. Uh. So there's the number on the first one, there's the E, then there's the and, that's the middle one, and then the uh, <laughs> one E and a. Uh. And what I'm doing is I'm playing the one. I'm not playing on the E or the and. So by the way, on the one E and does, your hand will be going strumming down on the one and the ands. On the two and, three and, four and. That'll be your down, and your ups will be the E and the uh. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. So one E and a, two. something, whatever. Um, <clears throat> so you've got that going on. What I'm doing is I'm going one E and. So I'm skipping. My hand is just swing. I always do this. Keeps the timing as good as it can get for me. And I don't strum again until the uh. So it's one E and uh, two. And then on the and, you're switching to that C. So remember on the, you're going to the C early, but there's an E there too. So it's And I'm pretty sure I don't strum on that next one either. So it's that's right. So on the on the two and when I put on that C, I don't play for a while again. So so again, to strum on the one, don't play on the E. Move your hand up. E. Not hitting the strings, and then up, two, E, and, don't play, uh, three, and then I believe it comes back on the E. So it's a, I know it's the, I know it keeps starting again on the ups, so it's, so I'm skipping a down and an up, and then I'm starting again hitting the strings on the ups both times. I believe that second time, so it's, I'm playing on the one. E and and then an uh two E and don't play on the uh don't play on the three play on the E and then I think I play the rest of the time. Let's get to that sense. Again, the point of this kind of stuff is to give emphasis to these things. So you want to emphasize that two and because he's made this change there. So what we do is emphasize, don't strum anymore because then you lose the emphasis. that I'm singing, as I hit that two and on the C, I'm singing that note um, stronger. Take me back, back to that place, that's where he hits those notes. I gotta say though, after that beginning where he does that, gives you that sense of that two and nice and firm, he starts to mess with it after that. From then on, the lyrics don't necessarily hit there. The note doesn't hit there, he moves it around. Um, I'm not good enough really to have the flexibility he does of where he puts the emphasis. If I'm going to be strumming an emphasis, I'm probably going to be singing an emphasis with it too. I noticed on the Deborah Letterman show that he doesn't actually play the guitar uh, in this. He just sings. Maybe that's easier. I don't know. I suspect he's just a lot better.